Um, we uh, we tested the concrete. Of course, uh, you, you know it. Uh, you know when concrete is curing, it generates a lot of heat, and and this can be very uh, detrimental because if it gets too hot, you actually can boil the water out of the concrete, and, you, and, and Lord knows what you have at that point. So we actually did a few test samples. Okay, these are test samples. Uh, they're at the site. If anybody wants them, they can come get them. <laughs> okay. So so th these are 3.7 meter. Uh, uh, on a side cubes that were done, and, and, they're, and they're done, uh, you insulate them all around to kind of, um, to uh, try to replicate the, you know, semi-infinite space, if you will, uh, you know, of, so you insulate it on side, and then, then you actually, when you do this, um, you, uh, you do it in the, um, uh, you actually insulate the top, because you want it, you don't want to have a, a big, because uh, if you have, say it's like a furnace, and if you're really hot in the center, and you're too cool in the top, you'll actually get a lot of cracking due to thermal, thermal stress. So you actually insulate it, and you, and you want to keep it where it doesn't boil, but you, but you can't cool it either. Okay? So, you, so, you, so these, were, these were different tests of different mixes of concrete that we used. And we used this absolutely amazing concrete. I don't know if you've used it in New York. We've used it quite a bit um, in, in uh, overseas. And um, we actually started using it in Chicago. It's called SCC Concrete. You've all seen, seen the, uh, the, the concrete contractor out there. He had like this uh, cone, and he put the concrete in, and he rods, rods it. And he picks up the cone, and it kind of slumps down a little bit, and you measure the, the slump. And that was, that was a measure of the workability of concrete. Nowadays, you do it, and you get a puddle. Okay? And the question is, what's the diameter of the puddle? Uh, and and, and the very, very, very low amount of water in this thing, there's uh, viscosity agents to keep the, uh, keep the rocks from settling out to the bottom. You don't vibrate the stuff. If you do, you've made a problem. And so, uh, so we ended up using this SEC concrete. And you, and you have the concrete that looks like architectural concrete. It's unbelievably smooth and, and uniform and, 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 and very, very amazing stuff. And we've used that on several projects. But, uh, and um, you were asking about the concrete earlier. This is the, the C80A, which is the uh, in, enhanced concrete. And uh, it had, uh, it had uh, uh, you know, point, point for the engineers in the room, sorry about this for the rest of you, 0.3 water cement ratio, so there's not a whole lot of water in there. Uh, you know, the, the modulus, which I can't remember what it is, in, in, uh, it's, it, was, it was close to 7,000 KSI, which is around 48 uh, gigapascal for the elastic modulus. Uh, now they want to pump this up 2,000 feet and more, okay? And so uh, we said, okay, how do you, how do you tell, okay? So we'll, we'll, so we'll test it, okay? You're going to hold it up 2,000 feet? No. What they did is, is they took a pipe and they ran it back and forth on desert. And, and uh, from hydraulics, every time you do, you put a, a fluid through a, a bend or curve, you get a pressure loss. And they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they, they accumulated enough pressure loss to the equivalent uh, pumping to the top. And then, then you do a couple of different mixes to see if what comes out the other end is still concrete uh, by, by the time you, time you pumped it. Anyway, so they end up uh, pouring it in, in, in sections, and and of course, they chose to to uh, cast it in August. You know, it's like one of those things. 